Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another demo from Actronics India. So this is a tea coffee vending machine board. So basically you have this six input. So the tea coffee machine will have like two input, four input, six input like that. So this actually support this six input only. So you can have like two, four or six. So basically the tea coffee machine input are connected to here and these are the outputs so this output will go to the tea coffee machine motherboard so basically when you have a trigger here it will do processing and then it will create a prop positive trigger on this so like uh, the buttons are connected here and when the user press the button this will do the processing and once it accepts the payment it will create a positive trigger that will trigger the tea coffee machine motherboard to dispense the actual beverage so here again you can connect uh, your power supply using lead acid battery or whatever so this is the ADC we have not used the ADC here just for like future expansion whether you want to control the temperature of the beverage then this is just reset button so this reset button is just for like resetting the count so once like you have opened the machine and you had like refilled it you want to reset the count so for that this button is there for quick reset now you have this four level sensor so like the level of the milk goes down or something goes down so you have this thing it will send you an sms trigger these are all opto isolated thing so it can like support 5 volt 12 volt 24 volts similarly this will create the same voltage trigger which the machine will require so like on the panel of the tea coffee machine the buttons are actually 12 volt or something so this will also generate 12 volt so if the tea coffee machine buttons are like using 5 volt this will also create a 5 volt positive trigger and you can like set it so currently uh, this is machine voltage and this is mach machine ground so the same power is connected here but you can remove this jumper and you can have a different voltage level also and this is like uh, for future like uh, you can control servos and you can dispense the paper cup and all those things we have not yet implemented the tea cup dispenser machine so once it is implemented you can simply connect the servos here So this ADC is also not used and this is the same app which we have seen earlier so instead of this water we have this tea coffee kind of beverages thing so you can select it from the screen also or you can create a you can select it from the machine actual button so the buttons would be connected here so let's say I simulate the button press You have selected cappuccino. So it will tell you that it has selected. Please complete the payment to enjoy your drink. You can pay by scanning the QR code using any UPI app. It supports the UPI also and it supports this uh, support this RFID also. So in uh, office kind of setup you can have like employee instead of like scanning it every time they can simply press their Please place the cup beneath the pouring spout to start dispensing your favorite beverage. They can simply um, place their RFID card and pay using that RFID card. Then you have this machine which will detect whether the cup is placed or not. So as soon as you place the cup, it will dispense the coffee. So as soon as you have placed the cup, it has dispensed the coffee. 
so i'll show you again this led will blink so i had like selected this cappuccino again please complete the payment to enjoy your drink yeah. you can pay by scanning the qr code using any upi app it is asking me for payment i'll do the payment Please place the cup beneath the pouring spout to start dispensing your favorite now, beverage. Now this LED should blink as soon as I place the cup. You have seen this LED blink for a for few milliseconds to actually trigger on the motherboard of the actual tea coffee machine to dispense the particular beverage. So like the tea coffee machine panel buttons are like cut and they are actually placed here. So the button input goes here and the button output is connected here. So once you connect the button input, it will do the processing and once the payment is accepted, it will create a pulse on the button output line which goes to the tea coffee motherboard and it will dispense the actual beverage. So I already explained like uh, I'm not showing a demo but like this is the level sensor so as soon as the uh, tea coffee machine level goes down it will automatically send an SMS you can see like it is showing like ingredient for quantity is low so you can see it has again send that notification similarly you can recharge select your, card. your desired amount you can then tap the rfid card to proceed to the payment screen so once you select the amount it's the same thing as we have shown in the water atm demo so i'll just cancel it so you can select it from here also let's say i want masala tea you have selected masala chai it will ask me for payment please right? complete the payment to enjoy your drink you can pay by scanning the qr code using any upi app i'm not doing the payment using upi because i don't have another mobile currently so i'll just pay by this card only Please place the cup beneath the pouring spout to start dispensing your favorite beverage. So, as soon as I place my cup, it will dispense, it will start dispensing the beverage. And it will create a trigger. So, this is for coffee. So, for tea, it will create a trigger on this line. So this board is designed so that it can be placed on any machine. You don't have to modify the actual control board. You just have to bypass the input and output from the front control panel to that controller board. So this will be placed inside the same thing and it will use the same voltage as used by that controller board. So in future we'll have like more options like uh, SMS, SMS alert is already where we'll have more uh, features like if that uh, temperature is not correct or some level is not correct it will send uh, automatic uh, reminders and it will disable the machine for the time being and we'll have like paper cup dispenser using these two servo ports. So this is designed like so that it can have any so that it can accept any input le levels like 5 volt 12 volt 24 volt and it is designed so that it uses this 2 pnb transistor to trigger a positive voltage only as and when required so with a simple npn transistor this thing is not possible or something so here we have to use two different NPN transistor for each port so you have six port and one common line 
or like this is like the VCC which you need want to apply on this line so currently it is connected to the same using this register similarly this is the ground it is connected to the actual ground only using this register if you want you can remove it and you can connect another ground here this is the cup detection sensor I will show you again another demo so I have connected on the third port which is uh, your tomato soup so I'll just create a trigger on the third pin So once you do the payment please place the cup beneath the pouring spout to start dispensing your favorite beverage so let me place the cup again and you have seen it has created a pulse on this third port so the LED has blinked for a few seconds So again all you need is a old mobile phone even if the touch screen is broken you don't need this physical interface like the lcd sh should be normal you can remove the touch screen if you don't want that would uh, prevent any hacking also or it's not necessary but like uh, you can either remove the touch screen or you can like ha have it embedded inside a metal frame which actually hide this uh, top bar and the bottom buttons so all you need is a old mobile phone a simple rfid reader and this control board so this PCB is designed so that it can be installed on a rail mount, bin rail mount inside any machine. So you can use any kind of obstacle sensor here. And it does not require any Wi-Fi connection on this only your mobile should have active internet connection that's it in future we'll create a dashboard also which will show the real-time status of uh, amount of liquid whether your water or milk or like amount of ingredient and option to reset and all those things so this is the actual configuration settings so here you have this analytics number of drinks dispensed today number of sales then you have the settings which will have this machine id and this device mac id and all those things i don't want to pay anything i just cancel it sorry your payment failed the amount is not charged if money was debited from your account you should get a refund within the next 24 hours so you can set the prices individually for any product you can set the product names you can change the images also if you want you can have this in local language also for example hindi or something then you can set the stock information like how many quantities it can dispense so if like 100 quantities is already dispensed that option is disabled so let's say for example this 100 is already dispensed you cannot select cappuccino 
let me just try it setting like so as you can see this cappuccino option is disabled you cannot select this so like you can have as many options as you want but currently this board support only six drinks so which is more than sufficient for tea coffee machine but this kind of interface we had earlier also shown can be used for any amount of uh, any amount of products so i hope you like this video thanks for watching and have a nice day